Hello. What's up, everybody? Um, this Katrina Benson. I forgot to say Miss Trina. Um, this Katrina Benson. Today is November the 30th, 2013. And God gave me a dream last night that I know I need to share with you all. Alright, so this dream last night. Okay, first let me explain this. A lot of the dreams that the Lord give me, I'm looking out as if I'm me, but I'm not me in a dream. Like, I'm seeing it through the eyes of another person. Alright, just so y'all can know. Like, I had dreams in the, God had given me dreams in the past where I was a Taliban and I was in a mall and an explosion hit and I'm running for my life out the mall. And he allowed me to see it from their eyes, their perspective. And like a day or two later, war happened over there. And malls were blew up. So he lets me see it from a realistic point of view so I could feel it and really get the feel of it and share with you guys exactly how he showed it to me. FYI, God is real. All right. So last night I had a dream. Um, the dream first started, um, God let me see it from, well, I'll just say me, but we all know I'm talking about what I'm saying. So, I'm on this roller coaster, me and some friends, and there's some new roller coaster, some type of crazy roller coaster, and I'm on a roller coaster with some friends, and, you know, the roller coaster going and everything, you know, regular, and it, it goes up to this real tall hill and maybe like the second or third hill and I remember like ah you know you're on a roller coaster you're scared or whatever but you can't uh there's nothing you can do you're on a roller coaster so I'm screaming or whatever so it goes down zhoosh, it goes up and flies right off the track and we're like going up in the air for a minute just airborne before it just falls back down pop but God didn't allow me to experience hit the ground and all that. He just allowed me to feel going up and coming back. And then I, that was the end of that part. So God let me see, um, feel that part. So we're in the same dream or whatever, but I'm seeing it from perspectives. We're at this uh, amusement park. And the roller coaster I just explained to you that malfunction. God let me see why it malfunctioned. We were at the amusement park and I'm standing around and everything. And um, next thing I know, stuff started malfunctioning at the amusement park. Like the roller coasters start flying off the track. And one of them, God let me experience what they gonna feel like, what it's gonna be like for them. They start roller coasters start flying off the tracks. Like it looked like it looked like everything just stopped working. Like, it looked like, I know you might say, well, why would the uh, roller coaster come off the track if everything stopped working? It's like everything malfunctioned. Like, whatever clips that, uh, the clips that hold the roller coaster to the track, it's like they lifted. It's like everything just went wrong. It's like everything shut down. It's like the world just stopped. Like, it's like the computer shut down, the electricity was gone. It's like, it was like everything shut down. And you know, like the other rides, swinging rides, it's like all of it just malfunctioned. Like people were just dying. Or whoever was on roller coasters or rides just died. It's like, and bystanders who was there when stuff fell died. Like it's like everything malfunctioned. So, you know, we like, what in the world? What in the world going on? Or whatever. Next thing that happened after that was the earthquake. So, you know, everything malfunctioned. People is like in a state of shock at this moment. And next thing I know, the ground started knocking. 
Now, here in Washington, D.C., we had an earthquake before, and there was just a lot of knocking. Like, that was the first earthquake I think we ever had in D.C. in period. And it happened here, and I remember it giving off like a knocking, like a knock, knock, knock. But in my dream, it wasn't a knock, knock. It was a boom, boom, boom. And I mean, people who were standing on the ground, it's like the ground was lifting up. Like, it's, it's like, if I could explain what it looked like it looked like a giant was underneath the ground kicking his feet up and everywhere because people was just hopping up off the ground it it was like it was like something was underneath the ground just kick but that's how massive that earthquake was it was great and so i'm in the dream and i'm like oh wow that earthquake is breaking up the ground like it's breaking up the ground it was just it was surreal it was surreal it was surreal and we knew it was an earthquake and we knew it could take our life it was nothing we could do about it um the earthquake lasted 10 minutes now in the dream 10 minutes was 10 minutes it ain't like god gave me the thought of 10 minutes it actually was 10 minutes like this dream was moving in real time here on earth i'm probably asleep I'm probably in the dream here on earth, maybe 30 minutes, but in the dream world, I was in it for a minute, and it was going in real time. Um, so, the earthquake lasted 10 minutes. After that, after the, now taking my, this stuff is happening one behind the next. After the earthquake, we saw hearing these explosions. I'm not talking firework explosions, or I'm talking the loudest explosion you ever heard it, it was louder than war and we were at this time underneath a shelter like a shelter at the park or something and when we heard these explosions we ran to where the outside was to see what was, what was happening now and uh, we ran out there and I saw these beams of light exploding in the sky how can I explain it how can I explain it alright uh, imagine fireworks going up in the sky and exploding, but no fireworks going up. It's just exploding, but it's no sparks or nothing. It's just light, like boom, and it's light, boom, boom, and it was coming from all sorts of places, and it was exploding. So in the dream, I asked someone, I said, are we at war? And they said, no, this is the apocalypse. And immediately I said, Lord, forgive me of my sins. Lord, forgive me of my sins. I I was so scared. I felt like, I felt like, honestly, I felt like my prayers were in vain. I felt like, I felt like my prayers were in vain. I felt like it's no use even repenting at this point. I felt like I remember saying, Lord, forgive me on my sins, Father, please forgive me. But I felt a sense of hopelessness. Like it's too late for me. Um, I remember after that point of seeing the light, those lights, beams. I, the way it looked, it looked like the sun was shooting beams off it or something. And it also looked like meteors were exploding in the app. Whatever it was, it was very, it was something we couldn't create or do. It was something happening up in the atmosphere. And, um,. It was definitely an act of God. Um, some in my dream, some of the people that I saw were people at my job, and um, some of them was like battling, um, was like still caught in homosexuality. I remember seeing two guys from my job that's in homosexuality. Actually I believe it was one of them that told me it was the apocalypse. So he knew. 
and all he did was just stand there and look like his like he received his fate and it's almost like everyone took it as they just received their fate and I think me in the dream when I repented and felt that hopelessness like I received my fate or whoever I was seeing it from their perspective of received their fate it was like at that point it was pure hopelessness I don't know why God showed me the two guys that I know that's about homosexuality he, like it was other people in the dream and I'm quite sure um, all of us that were in that dream at the moment was a reason we was there Um, after this, after that, after the beam shower, I saw U.S. aircrafts fly over that area, and it was clearly U.S.A. aircrafts, and I thought to myself in a dream, they must think we at war. Moments later, it wasn't even that long missiles started shooting and they was US missiles and they was flying right over there to us and it was, it was just shoo, and they were big like the size of, of big office buildings like they were huge missiles and it's like they was they was from America and we were in America and it's like they were shooting at other Americans and I couldn't understand like why are they trying to kill themselves why are they and I couldn't understand that and um, I wasn't thinking this in a dream I thought this when I woke up but in the dream my first thing is run and one of the people that I was um, standing with said it looked like it was nowhere to run to it looked like the world was over and um, one of the people said run to the path and I woke up I asked God about the American missile shooting at Americans like it. I asked him about that and he said that's the spiritual war. That's that final war. Okay. I might say what's the final war? Good versus evil. Good versus evil. It's like the enemy and his army and God and his army. It's it's definitely it's it's the last thing. It's the last thing. It's the last war. It's the last war before the enemy is locked away. Um. Okay. God showed me already in a past dream. I posted on my YouTube page. So if you're looking at this video, just scroll through. You'll find another end times dream somewhere uh, from me. And um, in the in this particular dream, he showed me again U.S. aircraft, and he let me know that when you see, he showed me these people getting into these aircrafts, and he told me that when you see that, when that, not when I see it, I won't see that. But he told me when that happens, that's the end. And in the dream that he gave me today, he showed the last part of it was that war, and that's the end. And we go in Revelation, you're going to see that that final war, that's the end. That war ends it. But where are we today? Where we are right now, okay, what y'all need to know is this. The rapture is already happening. Okay, not the whole big shebang rapture where the final ones are gone. But God is rapturing up people every day. He is taking people home. Some people ain't going with the ain't being rapture. Some people just going to hell. But some people okay, okay, let me explain this to you. I'm calling it rapture when people go on to see God. Because that's what what's gonna happen. The final rapture is when God takes 
whoever left of his in his will on earth at that moment all at once that's that big rapture you hear about that's where we're headed to the big rapture but before the rapture happens we you and me we're going to see a lot of stuff happen on this earth. My prayer is that me and you are in a position to go with that rapture, that final call. Whether it's before the final call or on the final call, but we leave. None of us wants to be here after the rapture. Because in my dream, people were at the amusement parks. Meaning, Kings of Men, Six Flags, Bush Gardens, Walt Disney. All them places are going to be still operating. There's going to be so many people left behind that. Life's going to be going on. People are not going to think no rapture happened. They're just going to think their loved ones passed the way it went on. They're not going to think something like that happened. So life's going to be going on. We don't want to be here during that period when they're, when they're experiencing earthquakes out of this world, beings in this. I'm going to tell you, this is what God showed me in the dream. Even though they were left behind, when those end time things start happening, when those miraculous things start happening in the skies and all that, they go, a lot of them going to know it's the end. A lot of them going to know it's apocalypse. A lot of them going to know the word and never going to receive the word until the end, until it's too late. Just like a person who dies and go to hell. They don't believe hell is real until they die and go to hell. Some people won't believe it till they see it. But as for you, this this is what you gotta do. This is what you gotta do. This is what I had to do. Okay? You gotta open your heart to receive God. God gonna lay on your heart was right and wrong. Trust me, I heard every doctrine. Okay? I growing up I saw all types of stuff. Witchcraft, I saw uh all type of Buddhism, you know, I heard Islamic stuff. But the only thing, only doctrine that penetrated my spirit was the doctrine of Jesus Christ. And I'm going to tell you something else. Jesus Christ visited me as a young girl. He visited me. So, which means my faith ain't coming from what somebody put in my ear. He actually visited me and showed me that he's real. Then he keeps throughout my life talking to me, showing me dreams. Like this dream that he showed last night, this this dream is dealing with end times, but he's showing me things just daily things and teaching me things. And he wants me to tell others. In the dream, the guy who was battling homosexuality, he just representing people who's just battling sin, period. So it ain't like homosexuals are the only ones we left behind. Any sin, any outside the will of God gonna be left behind. That's why we must repent daily because daily we doing stuff that's taking us outside the will of God. We try, we don't want to do it, but even if it's just thoughts, you know. So we gotta repent daily. You know what? We got to keep these videos going because it's time for deliverance. My name is Katrina Benson. If you're looking for me, I'm on Facebook. Um, I'm on Twitter, uh, Miss Trina M number one S S T R I A A. You'll get my Facebook post there. Um, find me if you have any questions for me. Reach out to me. Seriously. And if God gave me the answers now, I'll let you know. But these are the end times. That was a warning dream for us all. God bless.